Hey what's up everyone, Ultimate Atomic HD here and today I'm starting off a brand new Let's Play and I will say more after we don't have an opening cutscene this time but rather an opening animation as you can say. Yep, here it is, Catherine full body for the PS4. As you saw in the title screen, well, in the boot up screen, th this is a game that was made by the same people who made the Persona series, and I obviously had to try it out because, you know me, I'm a huge, huge fan of the Persona series, and this Let's Play has actually been in the cards for a rather long time because I bought the game quite some time ago during a sale and it went straight to the backlog because I had lots and lots of other things to try out, play, do other than playing games and recently I have finally had the time to come back to it and the game isn't even that long, it has ports multiple endings of which of the 13 possible endings I will be showing off 8 of them to you uh, more on that later, and yeah, this game is actually really good from the story it's trying to tell and the gameplay is actually quite fun, so yeah, anyway, uh, like I said, I'll be showing 8 of the 13 possible endings because I will be showing uh, the main endings for each of the four main routes because you have the Catherine route, the Catherine McBride route, the Rin route, and then the Freedom route where you do not end up with any of these three lovely ladies. So uh, the first, the the first three routes, the Catherine route, the Catherine McBride route, and the uh, Freedom Route, the original three routes of the original game because Full Body is kind of like Persona 5 Royale in enhanced re-release with an additional character that being Rin. Uh, they sport the exact same story and cutscenes, the only difference being the very last cutscenes when you get to the end. So, for the first part of this Let's Play, I'll be showing you, uh, showing you off that main story and then attaching all of the three endings one after another in each episode and after that I'll be going on to the Rin route which is slightly different the story for a first few days yeah the game actually takes place uh, for uh, for a week uh, a whole week when it comes to how much time it does it, it does the plot last in this game it's uh, one full week All, a few days over but anyway uh, for the first few days the Rin route is the same as the as the regular three routes, but when but I will start the let's play on the Rin's route on the very first day that the con that the context of the plot and that and the actual plot changes and continue on from that from normal. But anyway, let's get started and oh no, I'm not loading the game. I'm starting a new one. I'll do it on easy because why not? We're going with the classic puzzles because the remix is a bit of a hassle to deal with. Hello, Rin. Look at her. Hello, Mr. Godzilla. Ah, this Let's Play in my estimation should last like 10 to 15 episodes because it really is short yeah this so obviously is not a Persona 4 reference look at it it's so blatantly obvious Now look at the Morgana, Teddy, and Koromaru plushies. When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. 
Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? No, I'm uh, quite a regular here. Seeing how this is my fifth time replaying the game. Yeah, you can get multiple endings just by strategically saving up. You, you need a grand total of four fresh runs if you want to get all the 13 endings, which I did get. The endings I won't be showing are everyone's bad endings because you... why would you want to do that? And the two new alternate endings which uh, were introduced in the... in the full body version. Mainly because the endings I will be showing, the true and good endings, actually complement each other because they are essentially the same with one scene of difference. Because when you get the good ending, you get the ending and then the credits, and then the true ending is exactly that but with one little after credits scene. That, and that, that holds true for all of the endings except the Catherine McBride ending because that one is actually contains more content than all the other ones. So... Thank you for blatantly spoiling some of the shit here, Trisha. Yeah, Trisha is basically the Igor of this game. Even though she never appears in the story and we never interact with her. Outside of these little segments. She's basically the fourth wall breaker here. Basically, the Catherine, uh, Catherine McBride ending, the good ending takes place before the true ending, and they canonically, go, one goes after another, and that is actually the first route I'm going to be tackling, and when I will be playing, I will be adjusting the game to uh, make that ending appear at the end. Because once you get the gist of how the game functions here, all the other endings can be nabbed simply by skipping cutscenes and adjusting the meter, the mysterious meter as it's called. And yeah, the loading screens are various quotes about life and mostly romantic quotes, which I actually find pretty good. I'll get to the mysterious meter once more when I... When we get to how it's actually used. Ouch. Okay, maybe not so much of an ouch. For now at least. And here we have the opening cutscene. I like how it actually casts everyone as an actual role. The Tobias character you saw, you can actually dress up uh, Futaba in his outfit in the Persona 5 dancing game. I'm not sure what that is supposed to entail, but I guess you can get guess for yourself. But hey, I guess it makes Futaba look like a pretty jumpsuit girl. That's always a plus. Ah, the chief himself composed this beautiful soundtrack you're hearing right now. I'm also not quite sure how long the episodes are going to be and how I'm going to format them. Oh, we're going straight into the first level already. Yeah, the, basically the plot of the game is that Vincent, our main character here, is having lucid dreams based on the legend if 
you fall and you hit the ground before you wake up you die in real life so the goal is to quickly climb up the, these towers and escape the dream before the either the nightmare chaser catches you or the blocks fall. Since I'm playing on easy, the blocks won't be falling here because this is the kind of game where you sometimes have to stop and look around uh, to see what strategy is the best. And each, uh, each day has multiple floors except for the first one here which only has one floor which is essentially no, no, I did not mean to do that. Which is essentially meant to be a little tutorial. Who are you? Where is this place? <laughs> yeah, of course, Vincent is voiced by Matthew Mercer, who bo both voiced Kanji in Persona 4 and Yusuke in Persona 5. And also the Arkham Knight in Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, sorry, I skipped that. Yeah, I know. How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the X button and move it with the directional buttons. Some blocks can be moved while others cannot. So be sure to experiment. Okay, to basically explain make a mistake moving a block. Also all of the blocks except the one with this face here that you see blankly staring at you. Uh, all of those can be moved while the face blocks cannot be moved. Okay, I won't be doing that on screen, the auto, the auto play thing. But I will be doing that when I'll be repeating levels for different endings off screen because it just makes the things so much faster. Let's pick this up. Alright. Yeah, this level is very easy because, of course, it's the first level, it's meant to be easy. Yeah, pretty handy, I dare say. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs is the key to successfully scaling the tower. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. Oh, we're almost at the top. Ah, oh, there goes my gold. Yeah, when you hear the church bells ringing, that means you're almost at the top. Hey, hey, wait a sec. When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you almost I'm most likely going to be formatting the episodes to showcase one day at the time. Or possibly more if a day happens to be very short. Okay, we have to make... Uh, Pathway here. Nice. Pull this out and we're done for this day. Yeah, the very next level is going to have the average the average day only has three floors in total. Here's a little sneak peek of what's to come because that's actually the boss, I or the nightmare chaser, how you ever wanna go, I'm uh, gonna call him, that will be chasing us in the next level, on the last floor. Yeah, each last floor showcases a different boss chasing you. Thank you, Ben Ten or Yosuke Hanamura, or Makoto Yuki, or Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, this guy's been everywhere recently. Well, not that recently since Persona 3 and 4 were ages ago, technically.
That's a small flat you have there. Is it? Well, it wasn't that bad compared to how things are going to get messed up in the future. Who could that be? Also done this let play sooner, but I had some stuff to take care of at work as well, so I want to wait until I am on my holiday. So I'll be on my holiday for at least the next week. So let's so let's make the best out of it. And this, my friends, is Catherine McBride, and she is actually going to be the first ending I'm going I'll be going for in this game. Of all the girls, actually, she's my favorite, and I believe firmly that her ending is the most canonical, as you can say. All of them have their charms, but I like Catherine McBride's ending the the most in this game, due to, like I said, her ending is the most content-filled out of all of them. Plus, like I said, he, probably at the end of all of the endings, when I finish the Let's Play for for good, I'll probably say how 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 many how many good lessons this game actually teaches us. When I first played it, I actually said that this game is uh, something that everybody can learn from, and especially uh, young people today. So we'll just see what it is actually that they can learn. I can even say that even I learned something playing this game, so yeah. What can I say? It was made by Atlas, which means it's basically a masterpiece. I mean, it's nowhere near as deep or long as the Persona series, but damn it, it's quite good for what it's trying to accomplish and for its length. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. Ah, oh, hello there, mummy. And yeah, this is what, what I've been talking about earlier. This guy had the... Same kind of dream as Vincent. We have more on the recent string of unexplained death that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not. Hey, change it. The match is on. No, two beers over here. Kenny. Hello there, Erica. Now her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it. That is totally going to take it, right, Vinny? What do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. That's right. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. The fight hasn't officially started, but this battle's already begun. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry? Of course it is. Anyone? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's. it's Why like do you think that? Why do people are. think that in general? Uh, that's what 
ambitious. Her job's always most important to her. You know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soul. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soul? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. That's so wrong and lonely. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm hmm. Oh, way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Oh. There she goes. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? Was that the guy on TV? Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah, the mystery death on the news. That was him. Holy shit, no way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate then we gotta make sure that doesn't happen. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning. I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Ouch! <laughs> That's messed up, man. I agree. I had a really scary dream. But I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, alright? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I don't want to go home just yet. So? Why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Told her what? Jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? Well, there is one, one a love quote which says... I mean, it's for... It says for... For, for a friend who he is, but I think it also applies to partners and spouses. It says that a friend is someone who sees both good and bad in you and still loves you. So yeah, I think that's actually quite true. Maybe we'll see it do it during the let's play. Of course, I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said. There's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Yeah, spoiler warning, the stalker thing is going to be dropped very soon in the main three routes. Only in the Rin route we are gonna find out what's the deal with that, so yeah. Don't let it bother you for these main three routes. All right, I think we're, now we're going to be introduced to the mysterious meter because throughout the game people will be sending you text messages and emails, for example Catherine here, and then you can reply to her with different texts and that should be good now and when you send it the meter will move either left or right the 
Yep. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember. Of course, so yeah. The right side, the blue side, is the order side. If you want to go for Catherine McBride's endings, uh, you, uh, you go for the blue side. If you want to go for the Catherine, uh, the the, the Catherine ending, then you go to the left, red side, which is the freedom. Uh, oh, I mean, I think yeah, it's called freedom, but it's not for the freedom ending. And here we have a lovely little image. I'm gonna reply real quick. And move right once more. So yeah, uh, for for Catherine McBride, it's it's meter to the blue side. For Catherine, it's meter to the left side. And for the freedom ending, you have to keep it in the middle. For Rin, the meter doesn't matter. It's slightly different. I'll get to that when I actually get to the Rin ending, to the Rin root as a whole. Sorry. Oof. Sorry. I accidentally picked the wrong option. It moved to the wrong side, but don't worry. A little mishap like that won't matter in the long run because there will be plenty of chances to move it to the opposite side. Okay, it offers me to save my progress. Okay, I'm gonna save up here. Here I am spending my evening by myself. Very symbolic for the bar to be called stray sheep. Wait, are we going to the next day already? Of course, the next day always starts with a nightmare. So, you've met some new faces. That poor lost soul is particularly You'll find there are many lost sheep in the prison of despair. <laughs> All right, I guess it's time for nightmare number two. Where am I? Last night's dream again? Ah, uh, almost. Just a different ambiance. Can't remember. It's going on. Alright, let's go! These blocks, the crack blocks will break eventually when you are standing on them. Yeah, yeah. I'm well familiar with all kinds of blocks. Yeah, you can hang on ledges, which is actually kind of uh, useful in this game. 
by crawling along those edges. You may be able to reach areas that couldn't be accessed on foot. Yep, this is the main way you'll be moving along. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is no step down. This technique is vital to your success. Be sure to get comfortable with it. Alrighty, narrator. Uh uh, wait, how do I get this gold? Ah, uh, like this! Righto! Let's go! mean to do that? This is why undos are handy. Very, very handy. Oh, I can pick it up from here. I want to pick up as much gold as as I can because it'll be used to buy items later on in later nightmares when we get to the merchant sheep. This and bada bam! Thank you! Of course! Uh, this one. Pick up this. Go back there. Push this and done! Let's go to this landing you just mentioned. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Yeah, to to everyone uh, in, yeah, this, in this world, everyone else but you is a sheep, and that applies to everyone. We're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. We keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, then, I'll be saved. Then climb, I gotta do. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've gotta believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. Okay. I guess we're on our own. Alright, so this is a basically where you can save your progress between each floor. Okay. This is entirely optional, which you just said. The talking to the sheep here does not affect the any of the endings at all. It just affects whether you will be getting certain trophies by later in the bar when you're waiting for the next nightmare to come around. On that note, I'm not quite sure will I be talking with them or not, but you can actually, uh, from a few of them, learn some useful climbing techniques, which become pretty useful. Or useless when you uh, see, that, or see it all and you don't have, feel encouraged anymore to talk with them anymore. But anyway, uh, what comes next is you enter this confessional and then a the Yuri Loventhal voice, yeah, the guy still hasn't doesn't have a name as per now, 
uh, asks you a question and depending on how you answer it of course the meter will move in one direction or the other and of course I'm going to be moving it all the way to the uh, to the blue side because we're going for the Catherine McBride ending in this route and then all the other ones later so yeah but anyway I'll be uh, finishing this episode off here because I've been recording for a bit now and we still have quite a way to go in this uh, in today's nightmare so yeah I've saved up my progress right now so anyway thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for more videos for and updates comment like and subscribe be sure to check out my Patreon when you got the time, maybe drop a few donations if you feel like it. And as usual, I'll put the next part whenever I can, so see you all and have a good day. Peace!